Joining me now is David Hartwell, the senior Middle East and North African analyst from IHS Jane's Country Risk. Tell me, there's been widespread international condemnation of Russia and China's veto of the UN resolution on Syria, and China has defended its position today. Moscow has even described it as bordering on hysteria. How would you assess the options now for the international community? They appear quite limited. I think. Um I think if we discount the possibility now that any kind of concerted consensus can be reached at the UN, I mean, it certainly seems very remote at the moment. I think what we may see is, is a, a tightening of the European and, and American sanctions on, on Syria. Uh, what we also may see is a, an expansion of the coalition of countries that appear to have been built up demanding some form of action and more concerted action against against Syria. So that, that involves at the moment that, that sort of consists of the European countries, the Americans and the Arab states, Arab League states, but that may well be expanded uh, in the future, some form of contact group perhaps formed in a way in essentially bypassing the UN and uh, a group of states enforcing their own collective will, sanctions, whatever, on the, on the Syrian regime. Less than 24 hours after the uh, veto, or Russia and China used their veto, we saw uh, or we received reports of the regime seemingly emboldened uh, by, by that decision and uh, taking uh, extreme action in OMS, which has been repeated today. Uh, what do you think their future is? I think, I think the problem is what, what, what you have a difference, I think, between the, the different perceptions of, of what uh, is happening or the, the, or the perception of Russian support. Whereas the Russians see their support not necessarily to the Assad regime, what they see is as defense of a, a principle of non intervention um, and of trying to um, see uh, an, an equitable solution in Syria. What, the Syrian perception of that Russian support is very different and um, what we're seeing is that Syria being, as you mentioned, Assad regime being emboldened by that level of support which it sees as providing it with some form of protection and therefore uh, increasing its crackdown against the opposition figures. It's, it's, a, it's a circle that is, the Russians are actually in particular finding very difficult to square at the moment. What do you know of how unified the rebels actually are, if at all? Well, this is one of the things that's actually very, very difficult to quantify because, as you say, you know, getting information out of Syria, getting impartial information out of Syria anyway, is extremely difficult. I, I think we know that, that the rebels are united in their belief and wanting to get rid of the, the current regime, but how far they are united by anything more than that is, is, is really a very good question um, because the rebels are sort of made up of a, of a sort of disparate factions of, you know, seculars, secularists, nationalists, liberals, maybe some Muslim Brotherhood thrown in there, maybe even some Salafist rebels as well. So there's a, lot of, a very wide range of different views. And so whether they're actually agreed on anything more than getting rid of the existing regime, it, we really don't know. Um, and so that's, that's a question I think that the West probably really needs to ask itself in the coming weeks. David Hartwell, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.